sink. Okay. Let's continue. After these technical difficulties, I think our... I think the rain on my end completely stopped. There's no more random thunder. Oh, nice. Also, the Dragon Show can do that. <laughs> I still think it's a can play dead. race. You can go... You can play dead to become invincible. <laughs> <laughs> How is he hopping like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how he has to get around. Toad is just the best at potato sack racing. Yep. Toad. The man of many skills. <laughs> yeah. Fun guy of many skills. I just got that now, I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that supposed to be a joke? A fun guy. Toad oh, a mushroom. fun guy? He's a mushroom. <laughs> oh, well I, well, I was thinking of the fun guy joke. I know. Which is used way too much in Paper Mario Color Splash. <laughs> this is one of my favorite levels from, from World 8. It's probably the, the best of the three regular ones. How many levels are you allowed to have in a Super World? In, in Mario Maker 2? You're allowed to have 40. In a single world? Or in a whole super world? Yeah. In, in a whole super world. You can only have five per world in the super world. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh, that was close. And you can you can only upload 100 levels. Yeah. Which, a few weeks ago, I hit that threshold. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna have to delete some to make more? Or? Well, I don't really plan on making more unless I want to make another account or something. Whoops. Uh-oh. So this is, of course, the... The Lava Rising section. Every yeah. platformer has to have a Rising Lava section. <laughs> exactly. What was that noise? Ah, uh, notification on my phone. Oh. That makes sense. There, there, there was the vibrating on the table. Or <laughs> if you had it set down. Yeah, I have it up on a little piece of stand. Got it. <laughs> yup. Ooh, okay. Here we have the best. Here we have the best use of swinging claws in Super Mario Evolution. <laughs> and now it's over. <laughs> hey, you made it. There we go. Just a few more levels and we'll be done with Super Mario Evolution. Now we're back on land, just to go to a bridge. <laughs> the Claw Factory. I thought it was cool having the twisters beneath the lava. 
Yeah. So you have air geysers coming out of the lava. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Oh, those claws are far apart. Toad just barely missed. <laughs> you see, that's the bad ending. Yeah. There you go. Oh, nice. This part, this part gave people a lot of trouble. Um, if you look at where everyone died on this level, it's it's always right here. <laughs> like oh. that. <laughs> you can tell I I did I did the difficulty progression thing right because I'm dying more at at the later stages. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. Come on. You got it. You got it. Nice. Oh, just barely dodged that. <laughs> oh, that was good. Alright, we made it to the final stretch. It's nothing but boss fights from here on out. <laughs> nothing but boss fights? Yep. Because the level before the final one is called Boss Rush Blitz. You gotta fight all the Kooplings again. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this one. Yeah. You got a choice of a few different power-ups. I remember our strategy was to spam fireballs at these guys. I thought yeah, one of us would get the... Yeah, one of us would get the fire. I remember the squirrel was really helpful. Yeah. The, the propeller mushroom can also be helpful at certain times. Yeah, like the propeller's nice, but with the squirrel you can be on the side of the wall. Yeah, you can hang on the walls for a little bit, and that's that lets you wait out their attacks easier. Yeah. And instead of just fighting them all separately, I wanted to do something a little bit more unique and make you fight them uh, multiples of them at a time. Yeah. <laughs> I like how how the big guy still comes from the ceiling. <laughs> Oh no! It's a little. It's just a flesh wound. Alright, and here's the checkpoint right before the hardest part where you fight three Kooplings at once. Of course, it's really easy if you just hang on the walls, but. Not everyone chooses the raccoon suit <laughs> or the flying squirrel suit. I don't think I've ever done this before, but, but it would be really cool if you could. Oh no! It would be really cool if you could um, hit one and hit Ludwig in midair, so that right right above the wall. Oh no! Um, right above the lava pit, so he falls directly into the lava, and you don't have to hit him a couple more times. Yeah. I'm, I've never done that, but that, that sounds like it would be really cool. Ooh, that was clean. Yep, didn't even get hit. <laughs> and 
here are here's the heartbeat. What could be next? Uh, uh. The hardest boss in the game? Oh, it's over. Whoa! <laughs> but is that the last we'll see of him? Such skill was needed to beat Bowser right there. Like, it's just so amazing. You press one button. Whoa! <laughs> But of course, there's more. There always has to be more. There's always more. Bowser never goes down in one fight. Oh yeah, this one took us forever in multiplayer. Yeah, this one's kind of... It's a, it's a fitting final challenge, because it is kind of difficult. It's kind of like... And of course... Oh, sorry. And of course, I actually, I think this, this is kind of what you were about to say too, but... I think this is... Yeah, this is inspired by New Super Mario Bros. Wii, where he chases you around. Yeah, this one, I think, is more difficult than those two. Just a lot more stuff that Yeah. Um... My um my nine year old self would would say that would say that New Super Mario Bros. Wii final boss, that one was really difficult and it took me several tries, but but I don't I don't think nine year old me would would approve of what I would create a few years later. <laughs> uh oh. Especially because you can just trap you like that. Yeah. Wait, what? I've only had that happen a couple times. Well, I guess I don't have to do the boss fight anymore. Swat. Bowser just fell in the lava. <laughs> well, that's a bit of jank that sometimes happens when you decide to work with Mario Maker. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> At least that doesn't happen often. Yeah. So what you what you're supposed to do is just wait for the spike balls to hit him a few times. Wow, what a hollow victory. I feel good about, about myself right now. <laughs> That's Super Mario Evolution, I guess. In an extra long round of applause. Wait, is Toad stealing Mario's wife? <laughs> People in the comments are gonna say, "Wait, what? No, it's, it's not, his, it's not his wife." But, bro, I don't, uh, I don't know. We don't, we don't even know that. I don't. We don't know even know that. I, I was assuming they had some sort of secret marriage, like yeah, we don't even. The thing is, you might not be wrong, though, because Nintendo has never confirmed anything. <laughs> so clearly, and Wendy's that was Super Mario Evolution. Wendy should be where we look for the uh, correct lore in the Mario universe, you know. Yes. Anything Wendy says goes. They need to write the story for the next Mario game. Just a random Wendy's employee. <laughs> some, un some unpaid... Some unpaid intern that runs their Twitter account. Yes, yes, their Twitter account. <laughs> you know, you know their roasts. <laughs> yeah. So which levels were was I going to play next? Oh, that's right. So I guess we'll go with the levels that I have not added to any super worlds for now. And once I finish those, we'll go to other super worlds. Sadly, you can only upload one Super World, so... Oh well. 
At least you can still play every level I've made, because I uploaded them all. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.